Hey everybody, uh, the project begins. Um, hope the wind isn't too noisy on here. Uh, we're making some progress in here. I've been at it for a couple hours since I got home. Uh, radiators out, getting stuff taken off the front in front of the engine. Um, just uh, chipping away at it. Anyway, I uh, I just started draining the oil. And come on, focus. See some of the stuff stuck on the magnet. Yeah, I'm expecting some carnage inside. I'm used to seeing dust, but there's some big, big chunks on there. But anyway, uh, I'm probably not going to film a lot of this because I'm trying to get this done as quick as I can, and I'm working outside. So anyway, I'll get a little bit, but probably not a lot. Okay, we're starting to run out of daylight here, so I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we got the intake off, got everything off the front of the engine. Um, I've got some other wiring to unhook underneath. I've got to take the starter off yet, uh, unhook the exhaust. Um, unbolt the torque converter and the transmission bolts and the motor mount bolts. And, uh, I think once we get to that point, we'll be about ready to start lifting it out. Oh, and I'm going to have to take the hood off too, because that doesn't work very well with the hood on. Anyway, uh, I think that's where we're at. So, check back tomorrow. I got some stuff to do in the morning, so I'm not sure what time we'll get back to it. But we'll be back at it, back at it tomorrow. Well... I think we've got everything unbolted finally. Um, we're going to find out here in a little bit anyway. Um, got the bolts out of the, the uh, torque converter, the bolts out of the bell housing, motor mount bolts are out. Um, I believe we're, well, we're going to have to go up a little bit, but I believe anyway, but I think we're stuck on the, uh, uh, the dowels for the transmission. So, uh, we'll try to get that separated and we'll see if we can lift her out. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, it didn't go far. Um, I've got to get a few things off of this engine. Um, so that bracket's gotta come off. Uh, for some reason, I thought I could reuse the motor mounts. Um, they're pretty much junk. I don't know why I expected anything else, but anyway, parts stores got them, so. I guess I'm going to make another trip to town today and go get motor mounts. Um, need the oil pan off of it. And I was going to use reuse the flex plate. I saw this right here. It kind of looks like a crack starting. I can't tell if it is or not. So, it looks like I'm going to go see if they've got a flex plate, too. It's only money, right? So, hey, we're out. That's, well, literally that is half the battle. So, I guess uh, we'll get what we need, and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll start going back in. 
Hey guys, I'm working on cleaning this oil pan out. Check out all of this. Oh yeah. Now well, we're close. Let's see if we can get a bolt started. By golly, I think it started. few threads in let's go try the other side well it's sitting in its new home now um, I've got the bell housing bolts all in and tight uh, the bolts in the motor mounts are started they're not tight yet um, got a couple things I need to fix uh, I don't know, can't reach it from here but that wire right there is a ground wire that I forgot to unhook or didn't see so it didn't get unhooked when I pulled the engine out so I got to put a new connector on that, and I think that's that's all I found so far that I screwed up. So I'm sure that list will grow. But anyway, uh, we're going we're going the right direction. Okay, we're running out of daylight again, but uh, so it probably doesn't look a whole lot different than it did the last time. But uh, we've got the exhaust back on, on both sides, and tight. Got the AC compressor back on, power steering pump back on. Um, what do I need to do next? Uh, I think what I'm going to do next is, um, the main thing I'm going to do is put the radiator in, and then see if we can prime uh, prime the engine with oil um, and then put the intake on get all the rest of the electrical stuff put back together and uh, hopefully yeah put coolant in it I don't know there's a lot of stuff left to do hope I don't forget any of it <laughs> right uh, anyway we'll check back again tomorrow Okay, so we got our radiator in, we got our cooler lines hooked up, um, getting ready to try to prime this thing. So this is my priming apparatus. Um, you can buy an act, you can buy this setup or something a lot nicer than this from Summit Racing, but they want a lot of money for it. I'm with Nelson, I'm trying to do the pennies on the dollar thing. Um, it usually ends up costing me more than that, but hey, we're going to try it, so... Anyway, uh, got oil in this now. Um, I'm gonna hook uh, um, air hose up to it with a regulator so I can keep the pressure low and just try to force oil through the engine or for, yeah, force oil in and uh, we'll go from there. See, hopefully this works. This is either gonna go really well or it's gonna blow up in my face. I hope it's the first one. I'm not 
not putting a lot of pressure to it, only about five pounds. So that should be enough to make the oil flow. clear hose was so I could see when this thing gets emptied I can tell and shut the air off before it starts blowing air through the oil decks or through the oil passages. There we go. It actually took a lot longer than I expected it to. Let it get down a little farther. And, uh, then we get to make a big mess unhooking this. Okay, she's looking a lot more complete. Um, we're still not quite there yet. I've got to put the top half of the fan shroud on. I'm getting ready to start putting cooling in. Um, for right now, I have left this hose off. It goes to the bottom of the throttle body. I'm going to um, start filling it with that open and try to let the air purge out of the engine that way and then when I start seeing coolant run out there I'll cram the hose back on real quick so um, yeah we're getting close I'm getting more and more nervous first starts always the worst for me so or the most nerve-wracking anyway so anyway I'll I'll bring you back when we're ready to hit the key Well, I think we're all back together. Um, and to say I'm nervous right now is an understatement. I know I've still got the cap off of that. I'm gonna have to put a little more in it once it gets the air bled out. I got most of the air out of it. But I don't think I can avoid it any longer. It's time to see if it'll run. Please have oil pressure. Amen. Three, two, one. Contact. Oh, you shut up. It's like 45 pounds of oil pressure. Too bad. A little rattling when it first started, but the lifters weren't pumped up yet. Now we'll let it run 
let it come up to temperature and see what happens. Uh, it runs. Well, it's been about 15 minutes or so and it hasn't come flying apart yet. So it sounds pretty good. I've added a little more coolant. It doesn't seem to have had a whole lot of air in it. Um, but the thermostat's opened up. And, uh, sorry. Idling, we're showing about 35 pounds, which I'm more than happy with if it maintains that. So, uh, hopefully this project's done. Um, I've still got to put the skid plates back on underneath. Um, I've got a new transmission uh, mount for it since I replaced both the motor mounts. Figured I bet might as well do it too. And then I've got a new um, brake controller for it since I borrowed the one out of this to put in the Suburban. So I'll get that put back in and I can put my dash back together. So. Uh. Thank you, Lord. He runs. Hey everybody, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you have a good one.